let's look at how to convert between temperature scales and how to derive formulas to use in this kind of conversions. The three common temperature scales are the Celsius scale, Fahrenheit, and the Kelvin scale. Yes, they are different but the same. Sound confusing, right? Well, the three scales measure temperature, that's for sure, but they report different values. For example, the freezing point of water in the Celsius scale is 0, but it's 32 in the Fahrenheit scale and 273.15 in the Kelvin scale. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees in the Celsius scale, 212 in the Fahrenheit scale, and 373.15 in the Kelvin scale. Take note that they are measuring the same temperature, but they just use different values. But one thing is the same for these three scales. Let's say that they are using the same kind of thermometer, but different graduations since they are using different scales, but the lengths to which the mercury or other medium inside the thermometers rise from the freezing point to the boiling point are equal. Because of that, we can derive formulas that can relate the three of them which we are conveniently using today. If you want to convert from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, this is the formula. From Celsius to Fahrenheit, we can use this. From Celsius to Kelvin, we can use this formula. But before we'll start converting and solving, it is right to know and appreciate how these formulas were derived. We look at Celsius to Fahrenheit first. As I've mentioned a while ago, 0 degrees Celsius is 32 degrees in the Fahrenheit scale and 100 degrees Celsius is 212 in the Fahrenheit scale. Now look what we can get if we plot these values in an X and Y graph. Let's say that X is for the values in terms of Celsius and Y is for Fahrenheit. But first, to have a more prominent graph, Let's include more points. 25 degrees Celsius is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 50 degrees Celsius is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Plotting these values and look what we've got. We have a linear graph. And so, the forever famous y is equal to mx plus b, the linear equation can be applied. y represents degrees Fahrenheit, x is degrees Celsius, M is the slope of the graph and B is the y-intercept or the value of y when x is 0. In our graph, it's 32. Of course, we know that slope is rise over run. I'll be choosing two points. I want these points at the middle because most people will use the freezing point and the boiling point which are overly used already. So rise is 122 minus 77 over run which is 50 minus 25. So our slope is 9 over 5. Now if we plug this in the linear equation, you will get degrees Fahrenheit which is your y is equal to 9 over 5 which is your slope times degrees Celsius represented by x plus the y-intercept which is 32. And that's your famous degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius conversion formula. You can reverse your x and y and plot the values in an x and y graph to get the degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit conversion. But since we know already the formula to convert degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, we can get it straight from this using just simple algebra. I am challenging you to do the same thing to derive the formula to convert Celsius to Kelvin. Just follow exactly what I have done and you're good to go. As for conversion examples, let's look at these two questions. Let's start with the first one. Convert 37 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times the given degrees Celsius which is 37 plus 32. And yeah, 37 degrees Celsius is equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. How about the second one? Convert 100 Kelvin to degrees Fahrenheit. You can actually derive a formula to convert Kelvin to Fahrenheit using the derivation method I have shown you. But for this example, we'll just convert Kelvin to Celsius first and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Kelvin is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Since we are looking for degrees Celsius, we subtract 273.15 
from the given degrees Kelvin which is 100. So we get a temperature of negative 173.15 in terms of degrees Celsius. Converting that to degrees Fahrenheit, we will get negative 279.67 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's how easy to convert between temperature scales. Keep practicing and keep solving everyone. See you later.